A few days ago, True Sky 3 came out and introduced some very interesting features. And now, some say it is one of the best sky systems for Blender that we have right now. So what has changed and how can you take advantage of it? The thing is, now you have a full-scale Earth atmosphere model right inside Blender. And it is not just a pretty sky texture or a small cheat dome either. It is literally a planet-scale atmosphere with realistic light scattering, meaning you can go from the ground level to the outer space in one continuous scene. The sky scholars and lighting are calculated the way nature intended it, with effects like blue skies at noon and red-orange hues at sunset emerging from real physical processes, which is just cool. Even the horizon curves and fades into a hazy distance, as it would be on a real globe, which I think will give your renderers that authentic big world feel. And the Anos Cloud system is actually an important highlight. You see, True Sky 3 offers gorgeous volumetric clouds that actually interact with your scene's lighting. I mean, as clouds drift overhead, you will see proper soft shadows and lighting changes on the ground, just like in real life. And you can choose from multiple cloud types. I mean, there are different options, from fluffy columns to wispy stairs and stormy nimbus too. And you can even stack them in layers to build up complex cloudscapes. You see, these clouds are fully 3D volumes floating in the simulated atmosphere, so you can fly through or above them if your scene calls for it, and they will look right from every angle. And of course, you can get intuitive controls to tweak things like cloud density, coverage, height, and movement, so you can easily achieve that exact look that you're going for. Another big feature in True Sky 3 is the dynamic day and light cycle and the expanded celestial system. So, the Edel can smoothly transition your scene from a bright midday sky to a starry night, and you can do all of this in one setup. As the sun sets below the horizon, the sky automatically shifts through the sunset colors into a beautiful night sky, you know, with stars and a realistic moon with adjustable phase and brightness, and even a touch of light pollution near the horizon to mimic distant city glow. Also, the add-on doesn't stop at just the sun and the moon. It actually includes all the major planets in our solar system as optional elements, which you can drop into your sky. So if you want Saturn or Mars visible in your sunset shot, you can do that too. Just enable them, and you can even add Saturn-style rings to different planets, maybe for different sci-fi projects. And by the way, Pluto made the cut too. Also, the good news is that True Sky 3 has recovered on atmospheric weather effects too, like haze and fog. So instead of fiddling with Blender's mist pass, you can simply turn on world haze in the add-on to simulate the airborne particles that make distant objects fade into a bluish hue, I mean at the horizon. This is great for moody landscapes or city shots where things far away should look a bit lighter and hazier. You can also add world fog, essentially ground mist or low clouds which is great for creating eerie morning mist or dust-filled desert atmospheres. With all these advanced volumetric effects, you might wonder about performance, which is fair, to be honest. True Sky 3 actually addresses this with some smart options, because it comes with preset performance modes, which are dubbed True Speed, and this can significantly cut down render times. In fact, toggling true speed can make renders up to 50% faster compared to the previous version. It can achieve this speed by simplifying some calculations with only a minor loss of physical accuracy that only a trained eye would notice, which is great when you need quicker previews or animations. And if you want full quality, you can switch back to the high fidelity mode at any time you want. On top of that, the Allen adds plenty of bells and whistles to polish your renders. For example, you can turn on lens effects to add a little extra flair to your scene. Things like sun glints, bloom glows, and lens ghosts for bright light sources right in the viewport. And it even simulates phenomena like the aurora borealis in your scene, which takes place in polar regions, with beautifully animated auroras that you can see in the night sky. 
And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.